how I have innovatively installed an indoor shower inexpensively into the inside of a camper van when you don't have room for a shower stall you can get I think these measure approximately 31 inches by 8 inches high these are called kitty pools or dog pools and they're made out of PVC and the way I do it is I use a hole saw in this case one inch and I cut a hole through not through her through the dog pool bottom because the hole they include is too high up so I use one inch cut a hole through there and then I use this three-quarter inch elbow to a flexible hose and on the other side um, rubber washers suitable when you cut the hole don't get too close to the bottom like I did right there or you'll end up with that it's a very delicate situation you want just barely above the seam right there into the cardboard but not quite that close to the bottom you want to get to the close to the bottom as possible but yet not it's a contradiction and the size is this is from Home Depot I think three quarter inch MNPT by FNPT swing joint elbow where I cut the elbow part off so that I could use the threaded size side of it as a lock as a uh, nut because this is just going to hinder draining and the person I got this idea from drilled a hole here which you can do that but then you have the the pool in the way getting in and out of the van and when you're done taking a shower it's hard to you know, you push it up where are you going to push it up in my case since I have the plumbing over here when I'm done taking a shower I can push it all up there out of the way and also my holding tanks are on that side and here also I believe is a one inch let me double check yeah one inch um, hole that I drilled through there through the van and out through the underbody and I will eventually get it plumbed into a holding tank so I can more legally take a shower anywhere for example a harvest host guest without draining in their driveway or whatever I'll be able to take a shower in their driveway into the holding tank and then maybe uh, when I go to a park or something let it rip well uh, what about the hot water so I have a four or five gallon Bosch water heater electric there the heating element of those needs serviced fairly frequently due to the bad water almost everywhere and this one I got at Walmart they come in white or chrome and I just have it plumbed right into my system for the shower head and I use this holder here and an aftermarket on off switch because this on off switch that comes with this doesn't last very long this one lasts this one's made out of metal and the one that came with it is plastic so I got this one on Amazon and for shower curtains two of these Amazon sells these in pairs inexpensively PEVA that's the less the non smelly less toxic stuff 70 by 72 inches take two of these and I hook them on top of those hooks to create a circular shower curtain and these are attached with double-sided tape so there's no permanent holes 
I can optionally paint these brown to blend in, but they blend in due to the white garnish for the fan, the white light. So I'll just leave them white and this white light. So I have many of them mounted around for convenience. It's easier to um, connect when you have more choices. And then you put the shower curtain bottom inside the pool so that when you're inside taking a shower, the water doesn't splash around the van. And as far as hooking up the water heater and all that, that's not going to be so much in this video. I have a little bit of a sophisticated system here due to a fresh water tank, a holding tank, reverse osmosis, and a water filter, a separate water filter for just the water heater so that there's less corrosion in the water heater because current designs of water heaters love to cause corrosion on the heating element. This dog pool lasts surprisingly a long time in the field. I've used one of these in the Sprinter camper van for um, pretty good. I say they last at least a half a year using it almost every day. That's a pretty good long time. They do get a little funky after a while. You need to clean it or pressure wash it preferably. You wouldn't want to pressure wash it in the van. Yeah, it's too bad they don't put the drain lower. This doesn't make any sense why they have it so high up like that. But they're, they all make them too high up. So I don't get it. It doesn't. It's just ridiculous. Another option if you don't want to go through drilling a hole in your van. Is you can take a shower with a small amount of water. And just, when you're done, pull it out and let it drain on the ground. So I still have more work to do to get this plumbed into the holding tank. The holding tank is really nice because, like I was saying, some places you camp, you're not allowed to discharge gray water. And so that would be really nice. As far as the rubber washer... I believe it would, you just look for three quarter inch ones. Another option people use is Planet Fitness and Anytime Fitness. Planet Fitness being the more popular due to lower cost and um, less snobby uh, management usually, but not always. Um, but I don't really like going to those places, not even work out. I'd rather do everything with my own equipment try to show you the plumbing underneath the van you can see where the hole is right there and here's the holding tank somehow I have to get that flexible hose into this top of the holding tank I can uh, that's gonna be tricky because I can't really reach a drill up in there to make a new hole so I'll see if I can create a uh, a split, uh, attach like a um, T-split to tap into the existing intake of the um, holding tank. On the transit, somehow the builder managed to put in an 18-gallon tank. Uh, that's an 18-gallon holding tank separate from the 18-gallon fresh water tank under the driver's side. On my Sprinter I never did figure out a way to achieve a holding tank. One time I installed 3 inch um, PVC pipe underneath to hold just a couple gallons and that didn't work real well. It actually worked but it's so limited I just ended up taking it out. If you hate this video don't subscribe, don't hit the like button. Alright, thanks for watching. Look forward to your comments.